I kind of don't trust Disney either. <laughs> I, I think I like Lucasfilm a little. I, I think I like it on Lucasfilm a little better. So, um, yes. So, yeah, I don't trust this Disney yet either. So. Yeah, but Lucas gave us Jar Jar Binks. I <laughs> like. <laughs> And he thought it was going to be popular. He thought every kid in America is going to want to be Jar Jar Binks for Halloween. No. No, not at all. Yeah, but you can also thank Disney for the fact that you're getting the last trilogy because Lucas swore you'd never make the last trilogy either. And then we will see if that's a good thing or not. I'm holding my breath. On the panel of three judges, I'm going to be the odd man out. I actually like the fact that Disney bought Lucasfilm. And when, when the news came out, a lot of people were mad. I mean, um, don't get me wrong, I think, I think they have good reason to. There are some people who are distrustful of um, the company, the corporation. Um, but uh, the reason that I like the news, and I'm personally biased with this, is how many of you have been to Disney World or Disneyland within the last five years? Some of you. How many of you have been on Star Tours, the new one? So Disney has had prior experience working with Lucasfilm in a short capacity. They developed the Indiana Jones ride, the Indiana Jones show, Star Wars, one, Star Tours 1, and Star Tours 2, The Adventures Continue. And if you've been on any of those rides, they're fantastic. And so, creatively, I thought that if Lucas had to hand the reins to anyone, hand it over to the company that has a 100% track record in terms of the quality of their entertainment, so, um, just on the, on the business side, I, I thought it was a good idea. 100% track record? I don't think so. <laughs> not Disney. <laughs> just with the property, not necessarily with their other movies, but... They're, they're gonna mess it up, you watch. <laughs> 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 I've heard the 